So I can't really talk about too awful much more history. So rather than talk about what we are today, you can see it all around you, I brought some toys to look at. First one is, make sure I got this right side up, is from the class of 1895. And all the young women in the class of 1895 embroidered their names to give this to the dean. Presents for teachers. I'm all for it. This is the beanie that I referred to that was worn by all the students. And I am not going to model it. The, the desperation of the moment, just a quick handwritten sign to stick up, there's still tape marks on it, in the windows downtown, prior to PowerPoint posters and everything else, but the need to get the student viewpoint out there is seen in these two handwritten picture, or posters which have survived. And a memento from another age. We have all these artifacts and more, along with the records of the college, in the archives of Casanova College, the Frederick and Jean Williams archives, located in the basement of the library. And everything that I've talked about today is found in a book that I wrote a few years ago entitled Generations of Excellence. And I, I hope that you get a chance to take a look at that book and read. There's a lot more in there about the school and a lot more in there that really foreshadows from the 18, all the way from the 1840s where this school is going and where it can go. It's a pleasure to think about the past of Casanova College because it does affect our present so much. And if history repeats itself, you know, we're on our way to a strong and healthy 21st century.